everyone, I'm Monica Guzman. I want to talk to you guys about something a little bit different. Um, a decision, a commitment I've made about my technological life that I think has made it a little bit better. So first off, you know, if there's one thing we know about tech, it's that it moves really fast. From the computer to email to Facebook, we know it's gotten more mobile, we know it's gotten more social. Interestingly, it's also gotten more personal. You get to pick the apps you want, customize the filter feeds you need, and then put them all in one device that kind of gets to travel with you. And that makes us incredibly powerful, each of us. We're kind of superhumans, enhanced by these abilities we get to carry around with us in our pockets. And that's pretty cool. So we get to know more and we get to do more. And yet, sometime in the last few months, there were things about how I use technology that made me feel powerless. So I made a decision. I decided to unplug. Now this wasn't a one-time thing, it's actually a consistent thing. One day every week I am off connective technologies. That means no email, no laptop, no iPad, and I give my iPhone to my husband with the instructions, get this out of my sight, I'm gonna be a human with no technological aid. So I need to be really clear, I'm not a hater. I'm not a tech hater. You get a lot of arguments about unplugging from people who don't really plug. Or if they do plug, they don't really fully appreciate the benefits that come from plugging. They also tend to blame technology for everything that's wrong. And I think my sense of powerlessness came not from technology, but from silly things I was thinking about it. For example, I must share things to enjoy them. This is the comedian Mitch Hedberg, his favorite joke of mine. When I'm in my hotel room late at night and I think of something funny, I go get a pen and write it down. Or if the pen's too far away, I have to convince myself that what I thought of ain't funny. That's all hilarious until I realize that that's kind of sometimes the way I look at my sharing life. And so I may see something interesting, it's passing me by, I want to share it. But if it's inconvenient to share, I actually judge that moment and say, you know what, that wasn't actually that interesting. I'm not having that much fun. This is absurd. The first time that I realized that was in a DC bar. My brother was there and he said, you can't leave this one bar until you see the bathroom. It's really cool, there's cool graffiti. I went in, I looked at it, it was cool. I wanted to tweet it and then I realized my phone wasn't with me. And I caught myself in that really absurd thought that it was cool, not cool because I couldn't share it. Second thing, my inboxes can't wait. We've all been here. For me, my iPhone just bubbles up notifications about everything from Instagram to Facebook to Twitter, you know the suspects. And it feels so incredibly important because it's so real time. And so when I'm with my phone, I feel like, wow, I'm really plugged in. That's all well and good until I'm surrounded by several friends at a restaurant and we're having great conversation. And then I'm noticing this nagging voice in my head going, it's time, go check Twitter, go check Facebook, there's things that are happening. So I excuse myself to go to the bathroom, but I don't have to go to the bathroom, I just check my email. I realized I was doing this when I saw the movie Connected, directed by Tiffany Schlain, the founder of the Webby Awards. She starts her movie with that exact same anecdote. And it took me hearing it from someone else to realize I was doing it myself. So pretty crazy. Um, a third thing, this idea that checking into my world is almost always more important than checking out the world around me. Now we think about relevance a lot in the news space and in the tech space, and we've done a great job creating apps that feed us uh, information that is so relevant that when it's up against the real world, it often wins. That's all well and good in idle moments. What I noticed about my life is these idle moments ha were happening too often. A lull in a conversation, arriving or leaving a place would be reason enough, to the point that I saw a photo of a beautiful Seattle sunset on Twitter because I hadn't taken the time to look around. So this hit home for me um, in Puerto Rico this summer. I took a week where I did not bring my iPhone on this trip. At the resort, it was beautiful, and there was a sea of hammocks, and in every single hammock, there was somebody using their phone. And I just, the, the conflict between the world around us and our personal worlds was just intense to me at that moment. So what's interesting about devices is now we're learning to use each app so quickly, we're also learning to get angry at each app just as fast. So sometimes if something just doesn't work the way I expect, oh my god, I get so mad, it feels like it just ruined my day. So coming back to Tiffany Schlain and Connected, after I saw the movie, I interviewed her, and we talked about how important it is to really appreciate how enhancing technology really is. So for her, it's a matter of perspective, and the way she gets perspective is by getting distance. So this idea is actually hers. She takes one day a week to disconnect from technology. She borrows from the Jewish tradition of the Shabbat, which you know, for a long, long time has been about getting perspective and appreciation of life by taking one day to just be apart, be away. So I've only done this a few weeks, but so far so good. I'm already realizing that I can enjoy things more without this pressure to share, and that my inboxes actually can wait a day, and it's fine. And that if I have an idle moment because there's nothing more to say, I can just look around and find something interesting in the world around me. So all of a sudden, I'm already realizing that technology really is pretty awesome, which I've always known, but somehow I feel like I'm appreciating it just a little bit more because I'm taking this distance. So it's something I think I'm going to keep on doing because it makes me feel like I can really stay quite powerful enhanced by technology this way. So I'm Monica, and thanks a bunch.